Hey, what's going on guys? We've got a vintage MOOC review here today. I don't really know how far back in history we have to go in order to necessarily call it vintage, but 2004 is when this came out and that's almost 20 years ago. So it's an older MOOC anyway, it's not a newer one. As you can see here from the front, this is about Seed Destiny, which was popular at the time, which was coming out at the time anyway. This is a special issue of Dengeki Hobby Magazine, the sixth anniversary volume two that we're gonna be taking a look at here for today. So let's take a look back in time and kind of see what was going on back in 2004. Let's check it out here for today's video. So let's step into our time machine and the only reason that I'm guessing that this is from 2004 because like I said this is the sixth anniversary special volume two is that if we go back here on the back side here we have uh, advertisement for the perfect grade strike Gundam and this is advertised as coming out in November of 2004 so I'm guessing that this uh, came out shortly before that uh, maybe in the mid to late 2004 around that time. Otherwise, I can't find a publication date anywhere in here. But anyway, as mentioned, this is all about Gundam Seed, which is the main topic of this, but that's really only kind of like the first section of it. There is a good section in here about Advance of Zeta, which is the reason why I picked this issue up. And so as you can see right here, we have the small, I believe it's one to 400 scale bigwig. There is the model kit, which was recently reissued by Bandai as a P Bandai set there. They reissued the one 400 scale uh, advanced Zeta kits, but we'll see some more about those in here. Uh, obviously, because this is a like monthly publication, even though this is a special edition, with it being like the sixth anniversary edition, there is going to be plenty of what we typically see in these monthly publications, which is advertisements for new products coming out. So for example, the 112 scale powered suit from Wave, which speaking of reissues, in recent years, these kits have been getting reissues and we've gotten a couple of new versions, I believe, uh, of those powered suits from Starship Troopers, which is very cool. So here we've got our table of contents and let's just get right into it here. We've got the Dengeki Hobby Magazine information. So we've got about volume one. Volume two is obviously what we've got here with this issue, volume three and volume four. And you can see which of the Advanced Zeta model kits were included here. So volume one came with the Hazel Custom. Although it says here one 400 scale, I'm pretty certain if I remember correctly, that's actually a misprint. That should be one 200 scale. Because if we see over here, volume three is with the Hazel two. And that is one 200 scale. The Hazels are in one 200 scale, whereas like the Big Wig and the Kehar, which was in volume four, are in one 400 scale. They're in the smaller scale. So I think that's actually a misprint. But anyway, there you can see like which Advanced Zeta kit comes in the special issues and then just some of what else is covered in those special issues. For example, uh, especially a lot of Seed Destiny. So you had uh, Seed with the Strike Gundam and then the Impulse Gundam for Seed Destiny. A little bit more about the Impulse Gundam, it looks like in volume four. We had some about the goof and it looks like a Zoids Command Wolf. So there's a lot of Zoids stuff in here as well, kind of in between, as you saw there on maybe the first page, a Zoids character figure right there. So anyway, there's a breakdown of what to expect in the different issues. And then we're getting into, so this is about Seed Destiny. So first off, we've got the HG Force Impulse Gundam here. Obviously the original HG Force Impulse Gundam is gonna be long before we have the very nice new uh, sort of quote unquote revive versions of some of these HGs. So the cool thing about this is this has some nice finished models and it also shows you some tips for the models. So for like removing the seam lines in the arms, for example, modifying the shoulder joint and elbows, it looks like for a little bit better articulation there, maybe with some custom joints or just modifying those joints a bit. Some more finished and work in progress shots here on the next page. It looks like lengthening the wings a bit on there and also adding some points on the wings, just some small custom modifications for around on the kit. Very nice to see for, you know, if you're interested in HG modeling, here we have the Blast Impulse Gundam. Again, just the older 144 scale HG kit. And, but I mean, while I don't think that the HG seed kits generally look the best, I mean, it just certainly goes to show that, you know, with a lot of work <laughs> or with at least a fair amount of work, you can definitely make them look uh, much better. So here we have the Zaku Warrior over here a little bit about the different packs the different wizard packs the gunner blaze and slash Wizard packs that are of course compatible with the Zaku's uh, of the series the Zaku Warriors there It's a little bit about that really nice uh, kits the Zaku Warriors I think are some of the best looking kits in the HGC line See destiny line if you ask me they do look pretty good 
I was a bit personally disappointed that the Master Grade isn't kind of more of this style, kind of more anime accurate a bit, that they stylized the Master Grade quite a bit. I think it's still a really great Master Grade and still looks really good, but I do really like the kind of original look of the Zaku Warrior, the kind of less cluttered design sort of of it, if you guys get what I mean. We have the Slash Zaku Phantom, the really cool thing about these is the different variations. I do really like the different color variations, backpack variations, the different weapons and everything. They are all quite cool, I think. So say what you will about the series, but I think that's one thing about Gundam Seed and Seed Destiny is that we did get a lot of really great mobile suit designs out of those series. You know, whether you like the actual anime series, the characters, whatever, uh, or not, there's a lot of really cool mobile suits and a lot of kits, a lot of really great kits that we've got out of that as well. So, here we got, uh, all right, Gundam World. This is the part of the magazine that gets into Advance of Zeta, which is, like I said, the reason why I picked this one up so long ago. So we have some HCM Pro stuff up here, and I guess that's what the 1-200 scale uh, kits of the Hazel 2 and the Hazel Custom that were included with this are in the same size as HCM Pro, which were like figures, which I believe it's all long gone now. I mean, I'm, as far as I know, they're definitely not making an HCM Pro anymore. They were like smaller scale kind of action figures. And these uh, Hazel suits would be in the same scale there. There's also a little bit about Gundam Collection down here, which is another, I think that was another like candy toy series in the early aughts. And so these would be in a similar scale to that. The Marasai from that series, for example, here shown in place of the Hyzak there in the big wig down here. So kind of cool little uh, customization there with that. So those are, I guess, one 400 scale to match with the smaller size of the kits. All right, so here we got a little bit about modeling the Hazel Gundam. If you guys are unfamiliar with these one to 200 scale kits, um, yeah, they're smaller, they're very simple, they're all molded in one color. Uh, the seam lines on them are awful. So definitely props to anybody taking the time to do some proper modeling on those Advanced Zeta kits because yeah, they're, they're pretty rough. But what this one is actually is pretty interesting. It is the HCM Pro, but it looks like it's kit bashed with some of the Hazel parts. So for example, the Hazel head and chest, it's like kit bashed with the Gundam Mark II. For some of these parts, like I guess the Vulcan pod, the backpack, uh, the shoulders, I believe maybe are all from the Gundam Mark II, maybe the arms as well. Just kind of flipping back and forth to check that because you can see it right up there in that image. So that's pretty interesting. So work in progress photos again over here. Most of the work that's going to go into a kit like that is going to just going to be removing the seam lines. But then we also have some modification, I'm sure, just to the joints and everything because they're also very, very, very lightly articulated, almost not articulated at all. So in order to get like poses like this, which does look really cool here with the Hazel Custom and Hazel 2 here facing off with a Zaku 2 in this really cool diorama scene. Yeah, in order to get them to pose like that, they definitely had to modify the joints on the kits because straight out of the box, they're definitely not gonna be looking like that. So this would be the HCM Pro Zaku there that's used for this diorama scene. Very, very cool. That's quite interesting to see. We got another uh, diorama here. So this would be in one 400 scale with the uh, Hyzak big wig there. Also got the Kehar down here below and then some balls and a um, quell there in there as well. And so I'm guessing that's from the other sort of miniature line. So really cool dioramas, both of these. It's really interesting to see. And then a comparison here with the figure and the model kit version there of the Hyzak, for example, from the big wig kit. So again, we're talking one 400 scale. This, this kit, like the total length of the big wig, I mean, it looks quite long with the boosters and that big massive cannon and everything, but it's like uh, this long. I don't know, it's about like four, maybe five inches long in total. It's not a very big kit. It's a very, very small kit. The Kehar is a really cool kit as well. So those are really cool, very fun. All right, so high grade Universal Sentry here is featured as well. We've got the Gym Command Space Type, really cool kit. I've never actually built one, but I would imagine it probably uh, probably holds up pretty well. Just because my experience recently with building like the original GM and also the Nemo, which are going to be mobile suits that came out around a kind of very similar time, I guess, kind of as to this kit in HGUC history. And those were actually quite solid. So I should actually pick one of these up at some point and build one because I think it would probably would be a really nice and fun kit. So if you guys have experience with the gym command space type, 
uh, let me know. I know there is the Master Grade, of course, which I believe was a P Bandai, right? Uh, I would like to maybe build that one, but I'm sure the HD is nice as well. So here we've got the Gundam Terminal Report. It looks like, what is this? Some Mobile Suit in Action. This is another kind of uh, now extinct figure line. So Mobile Suit in information there about the Goof. I guess the MSA, MSIA, MIA uh, figure line. Another thing that I don't really know too much about, I never really got into it, you know, I kind of just stick with the models. But it looks like here we've got uh, more Seed Destiny MIA stuff and an advertisement for the upcoming mobile suits, which would be like the uh, enemy mobile suits, the antagonist mobile suits of the series up there coming out. So we have like the production images for those. A lot of like uh, older figure stuff featured in here, which is quite interesting. It's just something that, you know, I never really paid that much attention to. But there's a lot of these figures like this, which I feel like just aren't really coming out as much anymore, either that or I just don't really pay attention to it. But there's a lot of these older, uh, different like uh, small figures and things like that. They used to come out here. You can see about Amarasai, HG, Gaia Gundam here, for example, coming out and HCM Pro, uh, Rick Diaz, for example, some character figures as well. This looks really interesting, a MS Encyclopedia box set. So it looks like a box set of just like different artwork and stuff. I don't know, that looks really interesting for 10,000 yen, that one, but that's a really cool looking box. I wonder if any of you guys have that. Maybe let me know uh, some more details about that if that's something that's worth like tracking down maybe for the collection, just based on the artwork that we have there of the Gundam and the Zeta Gundam. It looks like some cool artwork there for that so that might be something kind of interesting to check out if i can ever find it anyway some other kind of chibi character figures there and little sd figures let's see these are some more seed characters and some one year war mobile suits there the zigok the alex the goof flight type the camphor here those are again other like small scale figures it looks like for those but really cool especially like this aqua camouflage on the zigok there for example really reminds me of remember when uh, henry vegeta uh, made that aqua kind of camo color scheme on what kit was that though? I think it was the high gog if I remember correctly, but he did something like that a long time ago. It was like a, a beach modeling kind of video. He took, he painted it and took it to the beach if I remember correctly, something like that. Kind of classic Henry video from back in the day. All right, MS Evolution Volume 2 here. We've got some more with the big wig and it looks like this is probably going to be like some more uh, like uh, background information and if you guys are advanced zeta fans we got ms technology generation here so we've got the actual illustration and illustration down here of the hyzak got a lot of detail images of um, both illustration work and of the model kit itself and again keep in mind i mean like this is a really small model kit so so it's not an easy model kit to work on but this is a really really nice looking build here of it a little bit more here, continue on the next page. This is like a customized build of it with the cannon folded up. I guess like there's a way for the cannon to fold up like in front of the Isaac. And that's what we can see here with this one. So that's pretty interesting there for that version of the big wig. Yeah, that's pretty wild. I'm not sure I've ever seen anything like that before. That's really cool. Let's see, up next, I'm not really sure what this is. Some sort of like little kind of manga there, strip featuring the Gundam and also Evangelion styling in there. It's kind of a weird mix of stuff. We got some Lego advertisements, Bionicle advertisements here. A little bit about uh, a tiger tank and Yotsubato, kind of a very interesting uh, mix over there, these two pages. All right, let's see, Super Robot Wars, uh, original generation here. So this is pretty interesting. These are, what? Interesting, these are non-scale full action figures uh, from Volks, I guess. Not sure I've ever seen these before. Really, really interesting though. So we have the Schultzwald and uh, I guess, uh, I guess it's just like two different colors of the Schultzwald or two different variations, I'm not too sure. Super Robot Wars, not something that I'm super familiar with, but these are really, really cool designs there. Uh, for those, we got some more uh, illustration work of that over here. And it looks like here is the Altison featured in a little advertisement right there as well. Uh, all right, so we got some more. I think the rest of this is probably going to be mostly advertisements, but let's see here. So these are um, different character figures, obviously. And we got some more of that. I think that's probably probably the end of anything too interesting in here as far as anything like Gundam related. This is just going to be a lot of different uh, 
character figures. There's probably going to be some like resin uh, GK figures advertising here maybe as well. We might see there's a little bit more about some different Gundam uh, kind of candy toys it looks like kind of thing there. Just like a heads up on what candy toys are coming out. This is really interesting. This looks like it's uh, advertising for a 1 16th scale snake ball. So like a mix between a snake eye and a fireball. I'm not sure I've ever heard of that. And this is a, a figure like a PVC, PVC and ABS figure there uh, from the Machine and Krieger series, obviously. That's really interesting. I don't know. I'll have to Google that and see if I can find more information about that. I've never seen that before. Really cool. With, like the pilot coming out, the suit opened up and the pilot in a pilot suit coming out of there. Very, very interesting stuff. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's see. So this is a bunch more different uh, candy toy things like uh, capsule toys here that you would get out of the capsule machines. A little bit more here on the next page. Once again, we can see the powered suit there from Starship Troopers. We got a Godzilla up there, some other different Godzilla and Kaiju kind of stuff there. New item list where it's just the list of everything coming out from different companies here. It looks like and also let's see artwork so I think this is like maybe fan art that they get in they feature some fan art in here as well which is very cool you guys probably can't see that too well maybe but they got a really cool one there of the Gundam for example so there's some cool stuff there uh, a dolls party event advertisement there for an event I'm wondering if this is all just kind of different event related stuff now I know this is just still other different products things coming out I assume there would be some advertisements for other different events in here as well, Dif different things going on uh, for different like meetup events, things like that. But some other advertisements, we got some Metal Gear Solid 2 stuff up here. It looks like those are, what are those? Those are Metal Gear Solid 2 candy toys. Those are awesome. That's another thing that I'm gonna have to search and see if I can find. I'm sure if I can find any of these on like Mandarake or something like that, they're probably a lot more than their original price of 600 yen or 580 yen, uh, you know, plus tax. I'm sure they're probably a lot closer to like $50 each or something like that at this point. There's some pretty cool uh, candy toys there. There's volume one and volume two of Metal Gear Solid 2 substance candy toy figures there. We also got some Botoms as well. Really nice. Interesting, very interesting. I'm gonna have to go do some shopping after looking through this. All right, let's see. So we got a whole bunch of different advertisements here now for even like tools, airbrushes, compressors, everything, Amiami over here. Again, I think this is about resin garage kits, uh, stuff that maybe was in production coming out at the time. Uh, Gundam Seed and our last couple pages here. Let's see if there's anything interesting. These are really cool. Zeta Gundam there. This is once again uh, an advertisement for that MS Encyclopedia box. So yeah, really interested to kind of find out a little bit more about that. Oh, these are nice as well. This is something that I've also kind of seen a bit, again, a bit more recently is like this cute little Chibi SD gym and there's a bunch more artwork here. So I wonder who these are by. So yeah, this is from December, 2004. There's all these different mobile suits from the Zakus and all these different one year war mobile suits of all kinds of different stuff here with the ARC-782 and the gyms, even the ball, the different mobile armors, the big Zam and everything. So very cute artwork. Anyway, I've seen the gym uh, fairly recently done as like a 3D printed uh, little model. And so it's something that I guess has been kind of more popularized. I can't remember who I saw making that or producing it recently. It was just, it wasn't like anything from Bandai or anything like that, but I'd seen it on Twitter recently. Uh, that's kind of about it here. We got more about Mobile Suit in Action at the very end and that's it for this issue. So yeah, very interesting. Always cool to look back at kind of what was coming out at the time and noticing stuff that I was not ever even aware of. So stuff that I would now want to search out, maybe find some more information on and maybe see if I can buy or stuff to look, you know, when I, whenever I am able to go on a trip to Japan again, stuff to look out for. Uh, in the secondhand stores like in Amiami or Mandarake or Jungle or anywhere like that. So interesting stuff. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you found most interesting from this issue, taking a look back uh, to the year of 2004, what was cool to see from that year. Let me know. And as always, guys, if you want to check out some Gundam models and stuff for yourself, you can check the link in the video description to USA Gundam Store. And as always, guys, hope you all have a great day. Like the video, subscribe. That really helps out a lot. Really appreciate all your guys' support. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.